Hello, welcome to collaboration video number one. I am Zach with PC Simplest, and this guy over here is Chris with PC Addicts. And today we are going to talk about Dropbox. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. I was gonna do that. Were you? I was. Hey, oh, was man. Gosh, he this beat is... me to it. I don't mess around. Anyway, um, Chris is gonna give us a little brief introduction on Oof. Dropbox, and uh, we'll talk about it a little bit and All right. see what you guys think. So what is Dropbox? Dropbox is a cloud-based storage that allows you to sync um, files, photos, uh, videos, audio files, uh, probably other stuff that I just can't think of right now. Word uh, documents, Excel documents, your PowerPoints, PDFs, everything. Everything. Uh, allows you to sync them up with an online service, Dropbox, um, that, that allows you to keep in sync any devices that you have that are connected to the internet, such as your laptop, your desktop, your mobile phone. Um, what other kind of devices are out there that they can use? iPads. That? iPad, yeah, iPads. Your, all the, your Android um, uh, tablets, tablets, phones. And, uh, all, all your phones, you know. I think Windows phones probably even have Dropbox. I would, I would hope by now they have it at least. So, so it allows you to basically keep all your devices in sync so you can always have access to these documents all the time. Another good reason to use Dropbox is to use it as like a secondary backup service. For example, let's say my laptop is the only computer that I have right now that I use and I have all my documents in there, invoices for all my side work that I do, um, documentation for troubleshooting on how to fix server stuff, blah, 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 anything. Um, let's say this is the only laptop I have. If I lose it, it gets stolen, broken or something, and I don't have any kind of a backup on it, at least with Dropbox, I can always go to a different computer, log in with the web interface, or on my new computer, my new laptop, or even my phone, and I can access those documents still. I still have them. So it's kind of a nice little secondary backup. It's a great backup solution. Uh, you know, it starts off as a free service, and I think you get like two gigs free or something like that, and if you invite people, you get more space and all that. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The more people you invite, it's like a referral type of thing. I think you get either an extra gig or two every time you refer somebody. So that's kind of a cool feature that they offer right there off the bat. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's that, pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. And then um, they, the next tier, they, they go up, it's like nine ninety nine a month, and you get a terabyte. That's one. Ter that's 1,000 gigabytes of space for 10 bucks a month. Sounds like a lot. Yeah, I don't know anybody who could fill that up, but good luck. I'm sure it's good. I'd, ha I'd struggle with my internet connection, like yeah. keeping, you know, syncing Keep that. Syncing that At least you're only going to sync it that once, hopefully, though. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of syncing, though, I mean, another great thing I would say about um, Dropbox, you don't always have to have an internet connection to access your files. So, say you're on the go and you want to pull up one of your PDF documents on your phone or something, as long as you have sync your Dropbox on all of your devices and you have everything up to date and you're sure before you go out somewhere where you have no internet access, you can still open up Dropbox on your phone or on your computer or whatever if you have it synced and you can pull up those documents. And that's pretty awesome because that means you don't have to rely on an internet connection to access any of your files. You just have to make sure that you sync up beforehand. So that's awesome. I mean, that's, that that's pretty cool that they, they offer that. So. And I'll give you a good example. Um, I do site work for a school district, and there's a couple spots at the school district where they don't have um, wireless, right? So, But I'm over there, and I can't remember the certain passwords to get into their Barracuda firewall or whatever. And so I have to open up my Dropbox on my phone, and if I don't have an internet connection or cell phone coverage, it's still there because it's within the application still. It's still synced up. So it's kind of nice. I, I can access all my... Um, my password, if I have passwords in there, and I, I do have a few of them, but probably shouldn't have passwords yeah. in there, but yeah, yeah, YOLO, right? Mm. But that, that's a you know, that's a great feature of it, all right? So, we, we gave you a little bit of an introduction of Dropbox, so now we're just going to show you a little bit about Dropbox. So, we'll show you from a Mac, we're going to show you from a PC, and we're also going to show you from uh, my Android phone, my Galaxy Note 3. And I think Chris was talking about working on showing you a video from his iPhone. Yep. So we're just going to kind of show you brief examples of that so you kind of understand how it works and just get a basic visual of it. So check out our examples and we'll get back to you. 
Sounds good. All right, so we're here in both my desktop and my mobile phone. And the desktop is an iMac and the phone is, of course, an iPhone. And um, I just want to show you kind of how things work um, and how I use it. So on the Mac here, uh, there's, after you install Dropbox, it'll eventually put a folder here in your favorites called Dropbox. And as you can see, I have, I don't know, six folders here that I've created and I think one of them was created automatically the camera uploads one and um, this is the directory where whenever I take a picture on my phone and I launch Dropbox it'll sync it up with this directory here and I clean this out probably once every couple weeks but um, I mean I just have some other stuff in a public uh, directory where I store um, you know photos and stuff for people that, that they purchase that uh, I could zip up and just throw them in here so Let's, let's see how this works. Now on the phone, if I launch it, you have some icons on the bottom and those icons are recent, files, photos, favorites, and settings. I, know, I don't use favorites, I, I don't know. I guess if I have a couple favorite files that I access often, I'll go there, but I know where everything's at in my directory structure here, so um, I don't use the favorites. But let's just, let's just do something for an example here. So on the desktop, uh, let's create, I don't know, uh, let's create a text document. Okay, we're just gonna say new document, and let's say this is a test. And we're gonna go ahead and save this. What I'm gonna do here is, now text edit is a bad example because I, I don't use text edit that often, but um, I'm just gonna say, let's save it to my Dropbox account. And of course, uh, the default view here, we don't have the expanded view. So I'm just gonna create it in, let's say we're gonna create in this new folder. This is a test folder, create. And we're gonna save this uh, test doc right here, hit save. And when you do that, you can see on the desktop, you have a little icon. Actually, that was very quick. So it's already synced up now. It's now synced up here. So I have a test folder. I can see the document. I open the document up and you can see right there, this is a test. Now for photos, because this is what I, this is what I truly use uh, Dropbox for. I'd, I'd say the, most of the time, this is my main reason for having Dropbox. Let's take a photo. Um, let's just go photo. And let's take a photo of the iMac. All right, so now that I did that, and Dropbox is here, you can see that there's a red icon saying, hey, there's one photo that you need to sync. So I'm coming up here, it's actually syncing, and it is done. So if we go to camera uploads, um, there it goes. You get a little message in the top right saying it's here. So if I come up here, that's not the photo. Where's the photo? There's the photo. Easy peasy, right? And then so what I'll do is I'll come in here and uh, highlight all these. I will move them to a directory, say something like um, photos uh, from cell phone and then this particular date. And then I store them away in my archival system that I have, which is an entirely different video. But this is the main reason or the main way I use Dropbox on my mobile phone and on the desktop. All right, so in conclusion, um, we're going to talk about how and why we use Dropbox. And I use Dropbox on like four different devices. So I use it on my Android phone, my Apple computer, my desktop, and I also run it on like my iPad. So there's four different devices. It all syncs up perfectly fine and it's great. I can access it everywhere. So that's kind of cool that I have all these devices and I have access to all of that data all of the time. Um, you know, the, my main reasons that I use Dropbox though are again, just store office files, my Excel spreadsheets, some PowerPoints that I use, uh, a lot of text documents that I keep random stuff in there that I need to access, not passwords, mostly IPs and stuff like that. Um, but I also, I also love to back up my photos and videos there because it's a great secondary backup. And we talked about that. It's a fantastic secondary backup solution for all of your important stuff. So, you know, that's definitely a great reason to have it. And I know Chris uses it on a bunch of different devices, so I'll let him tell you yeah. what, so, what he does. So, I, just like Zach, I use it on, well, I use it on my laptop, I use it on my iMac at home, and I use it on my iPhone here as well. Um, for a lot of the same reasons Zach uses it, I, I do the same. Um, one, I don't trust having everything on just a computer. 
I've worked with multiple computers many years, and it was a pain in the butt to try to copy files that I need needed from this computer to the other other computer. And I've been using Dropbox for many years, probably a little bit after they started, you you know, having the service out there. But um, my main thing is I don't trust having it on just one device. Um, also, when I'm at work, uh, if I need access to those documents, I just log into the web interface, access whatever I need to access, and then close out. I'm done. It's re it's real nice. It's so convenient to have. Um, it's really easy to use. Yes, it's really very easy to use. Very easy. Um, another thing, like Zach mentioned too, every time I take a photo, I have it. I have the phone configured so when I launch Dropbox here. It'll take all my photos because I don't use Photo Stream. I don't. I don't like that. I just. I'm not a fan of the Photo Stream service or whatever. But I use. Um, whenever I launch Dropbox, it'll pull any photos that I've taken from my phone and videos. It'll pull those right into my Dropbox account. And I'll have them available here on my laptop as soon as I open it up. Well, and it syncs. And as well as my iMac at home. They don't even do anything. It just, no. It just syncs. It syncs. It's, it's awesome. Very clean, nice service. Um, and the last thing I use it for is. So I do photography on the side, and when I take a bunch of photos at an event, some people will purchase like packages, like a USB drive package. If I try to get them to, um, instead of having a USB drive, I will just send them a zipped up file and a link to it from my Dropbox account. So let's say I take 30 photos of some someone or someone's dog or something. I'll zip all those up into one file, put it over my Dropbox account. Once it's done syncing up with Dropbox, I right click that file and say copy shared or copy public whatever copy it is. Pu public, public link, link. or something like that, yeah. So I just paste that into an email, send it to them, they click on it, down or open it up, download their photos and it's done. It's really nice service. I mean, that, that's actually pretty cool. I'm actually thinking of purchasing Dropbox so I can have a lot more storage yeah. and do that. More. With the public links though, that only works if you're telling it to create that public link. Mm -hmm. So all of your files are secure. Nobody can access them Good unless point. you set those files as private or you share them. So that's a you know that's a great feature of it too. You can share stuff from it, but nobody can just access it on the fly. So just wanted to touch base on that real quick. Good point. Yeah. Well, um, I mean that those are kind of my main reasons and those were Zach's main reasons. I'm sure we, we find other little uses for it too. All right, so we went over why we use Dropbox and you heard all of our examples, but we would love to hear from you guys and you can tell us what you use Dropbox for. Um, you know, whether it's for your pictures and stuff too or your files or maybe it's something completely different. I yeah. wanna hear about that too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you use it for something different, let us know. Give us some ideas. Yeah. Maybe we're missing out on something and we'd really love to hear about it. Heck yeah. But you know, just let us know. Tell us what you use it for. All right guys, well thanks for watching and don't forget to please subscribe to both PC Simplest and PC Addicts and we will uh, hit you up with some more videos later. All right. Thank you.